What's up guys and welcome to well, another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your troll course at the Scaranger. And today's video is somewhat different because I am not the one who battles. This is the match decisive between Escalo and Shadow Shoe. They are the two that this game or the LBA games that there are depending on, or rather no, speak English if you wish. But <laughs> it is depending on whoever wins between those two whether or not I make playoff in LBA, and with that said, I am basically hoping that Escalo, which actually due to my win against Marcus, has no chance of uh, going to uh, playoff. But, if he wins against Shu, that means that I make playoff. So he needs to win for me to make it. Which also means that he has no reason to win the match, but... I gave him a reason to win the match, and that is to not pick a Mon in TBU, a specific Mon. So, um, he has something to play off. If he loses, then I'm going to pick that Mon, basically. And I can't tell you guys what that is, but for you guys who are TBU followers, know something got available in the draft format, and that's really all I can say. Something, something that really should not be unbanned. So, with that said, here is the matchup. And uh, I'm gonna make the screen as small as possible. As you guys see, Escalo, Rod, Yolteon, Toxic Rogue, Feroth, Ford, John Fan, Curum B, and Staraptor. And Shadow Shoe is bringing Raichu, Girachi's Mega Sableye, Infernape, Scolipede, and Cloyster. So I say Escalo has a tough game. Tough game is probably, with all sense of the words, what would be fair. Um, so, without further ado, I really shouldn't say more, because we don't really know how this game will turn out, do we? So yeah, let's do this. <sighs> also, let's. Right, starting off with Picos to Jolteon, against Cloyster. We try and Cloyster. Alright, so he doesn't feel safe staying in. Probably not a sash at that if that's the case. Going to right you, trying to actually get some. Um, I do believe trying to go for lightning rod, but gets a toxic, which is actually not bad. Not bad. Good prediction on Escalo's side. I mean, shell smashing is extremely scary at that point. So, bit gutsy, bit gutsy. I won't deny that. So goes to Don Fan, risking potential actually grass knot, but he actually going to switch out. Hm. All right, to Sableye. Alright, then we know that's the Mega Form. He's gonna risk a potential Willow here. But he does stay in. Which I find kinda surprised at. Uh, let's see what happens. Go for the Willow. Does connect. And that's a Burned On Fan, right? Uh, goes for Gun Shot. Alright, and that shouldn't really do a whole lot. It would burn definitely not, not, not enough. But uh, it could probably try to go for that Poison. I guess that was his trying to do. He can't go for rocks, obviously. It goes back to Picos, which is Jolteon. And we're gonna see Calm Mind, right? Yeah, there we go. Do you got a response for this? Do you got a response for this? I wonder. Hmm. That's, um, that's intimidating. Goes for Volt Switch, right? Probably to cure MB at this point. Trying to get the high damage, if anything. Uh, or rather, that would probably what I would do. Though we risk the Willow. Absolute zero. Yeah, and that's definitely curing. I wonder if I have been Shadow Shoe, would I have gone for Willow here? He goes for recover. I do believe Outrage is a safe to it kill even after burn. Um, so yeah, let's see what he decides to do. Um, goes to burn Dawn Fan, and there's a second Willow. All right, so he's not risking it though. He's not risking it. Goes for Gunshot again, right, trying to actually go for that poison, that is actually his best bet of whittling down this mon. There is simply nothing else he can do. It's either that, or in some fashion, um, make sure that he's enough low HP that Curum can wrap things up with an Outrage. If he packs it, that is. This is why people hate Sableye, basically, because it can take hits for days. Um, you know, if you get the poison eventually, then things change. Residual damage is not a friend of, uh, of course, his mon itself, and uh, 
that's why people have skull basically to get that thing burned. But Gang Chunk can work as well, even though it has the possibility of missing. And now I do believe it has three Calm Minds behind him, so it's gonna start doing the damage. And uh, I don't see the point of having So in, since it will try to recover Stall here if I had to make a guess. Um, yeah, there we go. So it's it's a long run of series of plays where eventually it will go down, and he needs Stealth Rocks. He needs to find a way to get that in. And uh, the only way to do so is with, of course, his offense. So. A bit on a risky side here, he's gonna keep going, right? He's definitely sacking it. Forcing it down to the damage, and hopefully curing can wrap things up. And, um, yeah. I mean, if I were Shu, I probably would have attacked from here, actually. I think that would be the better call than trying to stay in, because he does lose a lot of HP anyway. Even though Donphank falls apart at the end here. Uh, Shadow Show is definitely looking to a series where he could be at 50% of HP anyway. Um, goes for cover, right. So, S Club basically keeps pressuring him. I'm just gonna watch how long this game is. And it turns out this is the, the majority of the matchup because this spell isn't actually that long. Uh, they're kicking in it at around uh, 27 turns, we're right now 12 turns in. So, half the battle has been a do basically. Um, He's gonna keep recovery stalling. As you guys see, once the poison kicked in, the Sableye basically is struggling to keep itself healthy. Uh, it definitely is uh, naturally whittled down. Uh, so even if he keeps recover stalling, uh, he will eventually lose the matchup. Uh, or it wasn't, he goes, is there? He will not lose all we get the flinch. Nice. Uh, he will not lose the matchup, but he will be in a sweet spot of area of damage where. I do believe Kyurem can just finish it off, and uh, yeah, that's, that's a waste of series of turn. I think Eskel played it nicely there, I should probably predict one or two recovers and get this thing in. But uh, I guess he wanted to try to play it safe, so I get that too. Goes for outright, tries to just pack it, and that's save lie out of the way. 170 base off, nope. That's, uh, that's how that turned out, so cheers, 5 for 5. Right, so obviously he's locked into the Outrage, and a bit surprised to see Power of Punch on Yoroshi. Uh, Outrage is extremely resisted, but it's still 170 base. Yeah, that looks about right, and um, it looks like um, Esklo need to make a call here that he can't stay in. He simply cannot. He cards Picos again, and uh, well, it resists Iron Head, so I guess that's fine. Fire Punch, right, so he was predicting uh, Fair of Wonder. Oh, gets his ring grace burn. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so it goes for Shadow Ball. Whether or not that's enough, I wonder. If it is specs, maybe. Um, oh, yeah, it's Life Rock. Already find that out. So that's definitely not enough. And a bit surprised not to see Power Punch there to wrap things up, since they all actually had it. There's a brilliant reason not to go for it. Here comes the Reaper. Alright, so that's, of course, a Sarepta. Uh, Scarf variant since it's actually outspeed, and U turn is enough there to finish that off. So we know it's scarfed, so it's possibly the fastest mod on the field if his right shoe is not in a specific set. Croak Hogan, right, that's Toxic Croak. Against Ape Escape. Hmm. Still Frogs, no aggressive play here. Aggressive play, Flare Bliss, and that's gonna decimate the Croak. So the Croak Croaks. That's too bad. He's just a sucker punch, maybe. But I still get it. I would probably go for stab too, like knock off or gang shot or anything like that. Go Star Raptor. Um, he's gonna spam double edge here, I wonder. I've probably done that if I were him. Uh, goes for U turn, right. And you, right, you should, still shouldn't take that too well. Yeah, 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 that stinks. So you, right, you can't pull that stunt again. Super Foreign is gonna come in, of course, being the Fair Foreign. And um, Focus Blast could possibly kill Fair Foreign, but Reversal. Alright, that won't kill though, he's not in that sweet spot. Yeah, far from it actually. And Iron Bobs, and possibly Rocky Elements. Uh, not Rocky Elements, I guess Rocks up. Rocks are on the field. Rocks are on the field. That's, uh, that's a big deal. That's a big deal for Shadow Shoe. Losing Sableye, of course, means that he can't keep them off the field. Hmm. Interesting. 
Citrus. Or no, Selak. Selak. Too bad Raichu is not as um, as effective. Um, but it's still, it, it kind of worked here, but um, it is not effective against this matchup. Maybe if we were special oriented with Hidden Power Fire, face points would be looking different. So going to AP Escape, and I don't believe that Escalo has a solid switch in here. Uh, yeah, he, he definitely doesn't, and it goes to close combat, and that's enough to wrap things up there. And uh, it's basically back to Star Raptor, I assume. Uh, I don't think. Um, I don't think um, Shadow Shoe has anything left now to deal with that Mon. Once Sableye was gone, basically everything started slightly to fall apart here. And um, he goes for Mag Punch, right? He's trying to get the residual damage. And I do believe that double edge and wrap things up from there is enough. But nobody goes for U turn again. I find it very interesting because Rox obviously is not on the field and Escalo is actually getting in and out quite frequently with Raptor. I think that's the third time. Um, goes to Evolute Zero and um, I wonder what monsters he got left. Uh, Nell 2, alright, the Scarlet Page. And um, Scarlet Page can have superpower. That should be one of those things, really. Uh, goes the first turn protect. Because Mega Horn is not enough to kill, but the superpower is definitely in that area. Um, we'll just have to see what the Shadow Show has in store for him. Uh, goes for Mega Horn, right, does not have superpower. This is not gonna kill. And Outrage is just gonna make, well, Short war got a scolipede, sadly. Poor guy. Poor guy. Poor Nell too. So, yeah, I only think he has one more left, and that's Cloyster. Yeah. And yeah, this is definitely GG. Goes for Outrage. I'm not sure Cloyster can take this hit. Depending on the set, but yeah, it's it's done for. And that's how Escalo wins the game, and that's how we make playoff! Ah! actually dragged this up. Mm -hmm. mm. Sweet, sweet victory from Escalo. And a very, very needed one, of course, for us to make playoff. So, that is incredible. That is really, really all we wanted. And, um, yeah, with that said, I'm gonna tell you guys who we're going up against, because it was between two people, and those two were Sophie, which was our 11th week battle, and Pori Blaziken, which were a week 8 battle. And I actually lost against both, but they were close games. And after Sophie lost, it was decided we go out against Sophie in two weeks, of course. So uh, we have some planning to do, but we lost 1 0 last time, and uh, well. It was, a, it was a fun match. I'm glad I'm going up against her so soon again. And I need to play better this time. I need to defeat her. We are not going to settle for some quarterfinal shenanigans. This has definitely been my worst season so far in any league. Going 6 for 6 is definitely something I'm not proud of. But I will say this. We did make playoff. Might have done something with that the poor, poor Astronaki match. But of course, if we got a 6-0 due to Hex. But it helped. It helped a lot, actually. And um, we are we are in a tough spot. We are going against a tough battler. But at least it's going to be a fun game. And that's really all I ask. But we're not going to set up the quarterfinals. I'm taking this home. So for the remaining five players in TBU... Uh, no! I said it wrong! I was thinking, I kind of said it right. For the remaining five players in the LBA, hey! Looks like you guys will be busy. Because I'm taking this one home. And for everybody who's supporting Scandinavian Southland, thank you for doing so. It looks like the season is not over. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna make this just right. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch Escalo's side of this game, actually. And, um, yeah. I'm pretty happy. I am pretty happy to make playoff. I didn't even think I would do that. So, it's a big deal. It definitely is. Thank you very much for supporting us. And thank you, Escalo, for winning that game. That was a good job, buddy. And uh, I see you next time in the quarterfinals against the Cincinnati Sylvians. Again, the rematch.
so until then guys, thanks for watching, and i'll see you next video. until then, take care.